Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another impromptu video and I don't know why I'm, we're having to do videos like this but it needs to be pointed out because cheating is getting quite prevalent in esports, especially sim racing which is the one I particularly care about is sim racing um, and as a PlayStation sim racer, I am going to call us sim racers um, we're quite privileged that we have less cheating going on um, because it's mainly focused on the PC side of things. Um, but that's where all the serious competitors go. So all the real racers are on the PC. That's where all the esports happen. That's where LFM on ACC happens. That's where the F1 esports happens. It's all on PC. But there's so much cheating going on. Um, and I was in the middle of just downloading some videos from my PlayStation to Memory Stick to, to, to edit a video that, to go live probably tomorrow or the next few days. But... As I was doing that, I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across Jardier's page and I, it just triggered the bell because I've been seeing people like TRL Limitless talking about it on, on YouTube. I've I've heard Jimmy Broadbent talk about it. I've heard um, Kirif go about it with the Daytona, Williams Esports. It's been talked about and I thought it kind of died down, but I don't think it has. So let's just have a look at all these things that are going on at the moment in the world of sim racing. Um... And actually have a look at what we need to do um, or what can be done. I don't think anything can, but let me know what you think if we can do anything about it or if it's just a lost cause or if the consoles are the future of competitive esports. Maybe that's what needs to happen. But let's have a look at these different pages here. So I'm going to start here with Jardier. So this is what I was scrolling through. And I came across this um, with Dara McCormack um, posting this video talking about um how someone's actually just cheating um and it's kirill sadirov now this is on acc um this one probably not too much i i can't really see the big difference i'm guessing that they've got some sort of mod going on um and this is the video they're talking about um, as you can see let's turn that volume down a bit um hopefully you can still hear me all right but it, you can clearly see that um, Dyer is on the top and Kirill's on the bottom. Um, yeah, and he's getting to these corners a lot quicker. Um, just seems to have a lot less grip and less, a lot less steering movement as well. So if you look at the steering wheel, there's a lot less movement in the bottom one to the top one. And it might not look like a lot. But so if we pause it here, it doesn't look like there's a big difference in the lap time at this point. You know, by the end of the lap, and everything, ha um, every tenth of a second at this level does make a difference. But this is the one um, that really got me thinking: is someone's commented saying that there are the indications that an ACC superstar. Now, this could be a, I don't know who this will be. Will be exposed in the next few days. We'll see if the rumors are true. It will cause a lot of damage. Um, so they can't say, but it's supposed to be a big name. Now I know this is all rumors. We don't know if it's true or not. We don't know if, if it's actually going to happen. And it could be someone just trying to get a bit of attention themselves. But then I'm guilty of that. I'm doing this video. so. But this is the one I really found quite amusing. Now, it is funny when these guys do expose themselves. Um, and this is um, Alvaro Caraton. And I'm going to let you post, um, see it. You can go to Jimmy Broadbent's um, Twitter. It's on there as well. And it's posted by Fluke. But this guy is left these the things open. Um, We'll turn this down a bit, but he's made the fatal mistake. And look at just his reaction here. This is pure gold. I'm hoping you can see it yet. Look at him. He's shaking his hands. He's realized what he has done. Um, and this is just brilliant um, when someone outs themselves. But what what are their excuses? So... <laughs> This is what Alvaro Caraton has actually posted. Um, after what was seen on my stream, I must clarify that I do not use any mods. Hold on a second. You did have a mod up because it was open there in your folder. Or exploits to complete. In recent months, I have been part of an investigation into suspicious activity within the community. Myself and others have been testing what is possible and how it can be identified. We have shared our findings with the Codemasters, EA and F1 to support the efforts to eliminate any cheating. I have never and will never use any cheats to compete. My goal is to help create a clean and fair game for everyone. Now, yes, that's all well and 
nice and well, but why 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 are we having to get to a point where Codemasters is asking competitors to use these exploits to to what? What are we going to gain out of it? Now, surely someone like Codemasters or ACC um, could just put a fix in their game that stops any exploits. I'm not a techie. I mean, we could probably go into chat GTP. They'd probably tell us how to do it. So all these brain powers there should be able to tell us that. But I don't think this is... I think it's a part of a big cover-up, and I'm not the only one to think about this. So Jarno Watmir, um, who you all know, um, has taken issue with um, Thomas Ronhar. Um, if we can just turn this volume down there. Don't want to turn it all the way down. But this is from Yano's stream. Um, and as you see, Ron Hard gets a lot of uh, grip on on these exits. Um, and Yano here um, does try to say something, but he's been told to not say things. Um, let's see if we can go. Yeah, yeah so we, we've got the, the transcript there. And I'll just let you listen to it a bit, um, so you can see what Yarno's saying here. If we do eventually get there. Let's talk tomorrow with you and Bradley. Why, why would they have to talk tomorrow? What, what is the secrecy in having hey, to not say things? Let's talk tomorrow. Another talk. Not much to talk about. I my best race ever, just to barely stay in DRS. This is where I don't really understand it. So they know that something's not going on well. Um, Thomas Ronha has got a lot of explanation to do. Now, he could very well be a very good driver, and we could be making a hash of it, but it's not just Giano. There's plenty of people in F1 Esports that are complaining about Thomas Ronha. He's a serial cheater by the looks of it. I can't. I'm can't. i just going to say allegedly because I'm not here to accuse anyone without having the full facts so all of this is allegedly but what's what's to hide so if we got alvaro caraton saying he's working with codemasters what why would yano not be working with codemasters does that mean thomas ronha is competing um, with exploits to help codemasters i don't really know um but one thing it does do is it does disappoint me because i would like there to be uh I, w I would like there to be clean racing for everyone. Dirty driving is one thing. We get that in GT7. We get that on the PlayStation. We get on every single game that you get, that's out there. But cheating is a whole other level. And what can you do to, to, to change it? I don't think you've got exploits in GT7. You might have glitches. You might have che some cheats, which, you know, polyphony do solve them. You know, if the data rate has an exploit, they will change it. We had that not long ago, like last week or the week before. But let me know what you guys think. Is this really damaging sim racing? Is it damaging the community? And what can really be done, especially at the professional level? Um, you know, we've had controversies with the GT World Series, you know, with the World Final, um, with Coco Lopez. But that's a racing situation where it's down to what a human decides on the racetrack. This is someone purposely going out of their way to download an exploit to cheat and gain an advantage. So what can be done? Um, I'm not sure. But right now I'm quite happy that I'm on the PS5 and I don't have to deal with those exploits. So I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and me rambling on. Um, if you have enjoyed it, do hit that like button. Do hit the subscribe button. Um, check out the video I posted probably about a couple of hours ago um, on how I beat Sophie AI and keep your eyes open because I've got a couple of things coming in the next few weeks and one of them is something that I haven't really done before and I don't think anyone's done in the GT7 community so I'm quite excited for it and I will be putting a community post out to get some feedback from you guys of what I should call it it's going to be like a weekly thing hopefully maybe bi-weekly or monthly but it's something that might be good. It'd be different. Um, so do keep an eye out. Um, but that's it for now. 
Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.